Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 of Loud The Sims 3 Feek Challenge Generation 1 just based off the children books. Uh, part 17. So Kita's actually gone into labor. I wasn't intentional for me to play the pregnancy off screen. I feel like I, I, I know I say that all the time. It wasn't, but it's, it's what happened. It has been very boring. Uh, it is also Rocky's birthday tomorrow. It is currently spooky day. Did she just leave on the scooter? Yes. Girl, for real? Are you gonna meet up with her? You better. I love how they like hunch themselves over the scooter too. No, we're not going to your costume party. We're having a child, thank you. So neither of them had uh, wanted a girl. Uh, Pedro got a wish to have a boy, but neither of them wanted a girl. It's about time you got here. You hear the, the very faint, wee, wee. Your baby's being born. A baby girl. Her name is Diana, after Princess Diana. Uh, I want to do, I, th I want to do Brave because she's set up to the royal family. Uh, and I think we're going to do Friendly. Or should we do Good? I think we'll give her we'll give her friendly when she hits child but she's brave and she's good uh my mom was actually cleaning out my dad's office this morning and uh she found an old magazine from i have it right behind me here it's from september 15th 1997. it's got diana it's a people magazine it's got diana on the cover and like all these stories about her inside and stuff and i don't know what i'm looking at i was not i thought i was looking at the door girl don't drop the baby oh i love how pedro was unrendered in the background for that it's great <laughs> so now we have little miss little princess diana and she will never ever like over my dead body will she ever marry charles a charles no and I mean, I'm not, I'm not British. I'm not from England. It could be one of those things that I don't know the full story. But I have seen enough documentaries. I have read enough articles. The heck is that thing? Oh, the mausoleum. I'm so fascinated by Diana that I'm very much against Charles. I'm not a huge advocate for the royal family. Uh, we'll see if we can get Harry to go trick-or-treating. I have to remember in the first place. So there's a good chance I'll forget. I should go to the bathroom, little Rocky. He is super cute. Let's give her a bottle. And we'll just put her in the swing. And then I want you to go make a grilled cheese just so that you can eat it later. Because I keep forgetting she has this wish to eat a grilled cheese and I keep forgetting about it. And you can only make it at lunchtime. I can't make it at dinner. Work on writing. I should come inside Rocky and Chew. I have a single step, and of course the dogs can't do steps. Also, he's gained the hyper trait and the non-destructive traits. I don't really care about the hyper one. Like, I don't care either way whether they have it or not. But when I don't know what to do with them, I have them run around, so... Most of the time they end up earning the hyper trait because of me, but again, I don't really care about it either way. Oh, we have to get mail. We still have to get mail. She was paying bills when she went into labor. I don't know when he's like a, like a good time for him to go trick or treating. Well, I guess I shouldn't have teleported him outside. We can have him like just take a nap or something. He's been sleeping in the really big dog bed and it's really, it's really cute because he's so small compared to the huge, huge bed over here. We got... After we got the twins, which is what we call Chloe and Zoe, we got a bunch of like dog beds. We got some to put in like their dog cr like their crate because we were we're crate training them. We crate trained the others when they were puppies, but when they got older, we didn't leave them in the the crate anymore. But we've been crate training the corgis, and so we got a dog bed for their crate. And then we actually have a dog, we have three dog beds, little dog beds that we put on our couch. Uh, and it was just my mom's way of trying to keep the couch like dog hair free. It hasn't really worked, but she's, she's trying. 
Uh, okay, so I'm looking at children's books because I still never know what to call it. So we just had one called Kida's Web after Charlotte's Web. Uh, let's do... Kida hears... Oh, it helps if I was typing on the game, not on Firefox. Okay. Kida hears... Uh, who? <coughs> Which, uh, might be kind of controversial... Because there's all the stuff going on about, like, Dr. Seuss. Like, I don't know if it's just that they're, like, not going to produce these books anymore. Or what, like, they're they're getting banned or something. I don't know the full story. Uh, honestly, I don't really want to look into the full story cause it just annoys me. Because it's Dr. Seuss and a lot of Dr. Seuss books were written when... Whatever it is that is getting them banned or discontinued or whatever. Back when it was still okay to write those kinds of books. And I mean, they're, I don't think he meant any harm by them. I don't know. I'm not trying to start arguments or anything like that. I'm trying to stay unaware. You know, uh, what you know can't hurt you. Is this a stray cat? Are you a stray cat? Can I have you? Nope. Of course it's not a stray cat. Or like, if any of you have Disney Plus, they now have it that you can't watch certain movies if you're like under an eight, a certain age. So if it's like a, like quote unquote, like kids profile, I guess, they can't watch movies like Peter Pan or Dumbo. And part of me is like, okay, yeah, like I feel like there should be pretty much parental controls on anything like I know that the Mar some of the Marvel movies tend to you know have curse words and stuff like that in it and I wouldn't want like younger kids watching that so I feel like okay yeah put parental controls but at the same time it's like when you let your kids go on I guess this has been, like, a thing that happens a lot lately. Like, having kids go on, like, streams that are marked as 18 and older. But they still get on these streams. And then the parents get mad at the streamer for having an 18-plus stream that their kid is watching. Uh, like, you, you should be watching, like, aware of what your kid is watching. And if it's something you don't want them to watch, especially when it's marked, like, if it's a stream 18-plus or if it's... PG-13 or rated R or whatever, then you should be the one to just be like, no, you can't watch that. It shouldn't be the provider or the streamer's fault. Which again, I also feel is kind of, it's probably a very controversial subject. It's just my opinion on it. Everybody's entitled to their opinions. Why don't you go eat? How is she doing? Pretty good at the moment. All Harry has done is watch TV, but I don't really know what else to have him do, because he has the logic skill. I mean, we could get a chess table and place it out here, put it outside. Well, you know what? We're going to do that. He always wants to play chess, but he only can play chess on the laptop, and when his mom is writing all the time, it's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. I think we'll put it there. And let's just grab some of these chairs, recolor it, uh, doo -doo -doo. and then we'll recolor the table to be white. I have all these store content tables and I just never use them. Like I'm always, in my builds, I'm always very hesitant to use like store content or anything like that because I know back before I had any store content and people would build with it, I was always like, yikes, I don't like, I don't have that. And then it was always replaced with like the worst possible option. So I just don't like using it in my builds, but then I forget that when it's like my personal game, like why not use it? So then I try to stay away from it and yeah. Also, Harry's glasses are way too big for his face. They're oval shaped and they're going to be really annoying to put on him when he is a teenager and a young adult because the accessories for teenagers and young adults take 
forever to load. So don't be surprised if when he is, like, a teen and young adult, I only bother putting them on his, like, everyday outfit and then not bothering with the rest because it just takes forever. The accessory category in Create a Sim is, like, the most infuriating category out of them all because it just takes so long. It's extremely annoying. Why don't you come home and you haven't gotten to really mess with Diana yet so you can snuggle, play with, and snuggle again. Uh, put her in her crib. You can go use the bathroom. And then keep writing your book. Try and finish it. I did rearrange the bathroom so that you can access it from the hallway like it originally was. Instead of having to go through like the bedroom and stuff like that. Was she just needing- oh, let's feed her too, and then you can put her in crib. Clean up your plate, please. Oh, wait, I need to- I, I didn't have him go- I always forget about the trick-or-treating. Do I just trick-or-treat- can you just go trick-or-treating by yourself? I mean, it's really late. I'd regret that. Let's not- oh, it canceled it for me anyways. Yeah, I'd end up regretting that, like, big time. Also, I don't know who I want to have Harry date. Hear me out. I am one of those people, and some people might hate me for this, I don't think Ginny and Harry should have been together. Like, it is, once again, controversial that, like, Harry and Hermione, I, I personally believe they should have been together. I am not a fan of Ron. I don't like Ron. I find him really annoying, and I'm gonna be straight with you I think he's practically useless uh I think Ginny and Harry kind of came out of nowhere it was almost like JK Rowling was like wait who should who should Harry actually be with I always thought Harry and Hermione should have been together uh I think I don't see the brother sister relationship uh Hermione seemed to look to Harry for like comfort and stuff and I almost felt like the relationship with Ron was really forced. So I really want to have like a Hermione sim for Harry to, to be with. But I know that a lot of people are like, but he's supposed to be with Ginny. As far as the books are concerned, he's supposed to be with Ginny. But it, like, I want to put him with Hermione because this is my, this is my story and not theirs. Oh, did she like crap her? Oh, you didn't feed her. Oh, so I saw him. To put her in crib feed her and then you can put her in the crib so i think we're probably going to um have harry get with hermione instead of with Ginny. because i'm not i don't think he should have been with Ginny. i think that just kind of came out of nowhere i think her the relationship with hermione and ron just kind of came out of nowhere i just nope 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 Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I never saw it uh, ever. And, like, my dad and I have, like, talked about it before. Every time we watch the movies, uh, there was actually... So, in the fair, at the very end of the first movie, right after, like, they're, they're all in, like, the three kids are all in, like, the Great Hall. And, like, Hermione... Was it the first one? It might have actually been the second... One. I honestly don't remember but we're like they're all in the end and I think Hermione had just woken up from something I think it was the second one like she'd just been she'd just recovered from the polyjuice potion and she comes running down the hall and she's like all excited to see the boys and she goes she hugs Harry no problem and then she like awkwardly shakes Ron's hand and some could be oh like childhood attraction but I saw it like there was actually an interview I, I read somewhere that Emma Watson was really uncomfortable hugging either of the boys but out of the two she was more comfortable hugging Ru Daniel than hugging um Rupert so she was more comfortable with Harry than she was with Ron so I mean I, I know that like, while they play the characters, they aren't actually the characters, but still. I just, I'm saying it now. Harry is getting with Hermione. So, you don't need 
to no clean up your dish and then go to bed where where did Kita go she's upstairs playing with the sometimes childish sims are really annoying because like their go-to thing is to go find a toy to play with girl no what are you doing oh thank you So I'm saying it right here, right now. I'm sorry if you don't agree, if you are one of the Harry Ginny shippers, but we're doing Harry and Hermione. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I want to actually name her Hermione though, because I don't know where JK Rowling got that name, but it feels almost cruel. <laughs> but I don't know what is better, like just Miney? No. <laughs> I might be, I don't know. He's not a teen yet. How long does he have till he ages up actually? We still got four days before I have to worry about that. So, yeah, that side's taken, honey. Oh, no, we were just up there, and she crapped herself. Oh. I kind of just want to let her sleep through the night, and I totally miss... I, I don't set... I haven't been setting timers. I've been just... Because most of the time anymore, like, I'm in charge of laundry. That's, like, my big chore in the house. And so I normally have my timer set, at least recently, for laundry so I know when to like switch stuff from the washer to the dryer and to start the next thing so I haven't been setting one but I forgot to be checking the time thing on OBS so anyways I'm just over 22 minutes so I'll end it here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe uh, down in the description, I have my gaming channel linked. If you guys like to go check that out, I would totally appreciate it. Uh, we were playing Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, number two, last Saturday. And have been playing Inside this past week because I finished Little Nightmares 2 last week. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. So it inspired me to play Inside, which is very similar and has been compared to Little Nightmares 2 a lot. Or more like Little Nightmares 2 has been compared to Inside a lot. So I was like, hey, I want to play Inside. And that's actually been a lot of fun. I like it a lot more than Limbo, which Little Nightmares 2 has also been compared to a lot. I did not like Limbo, but I'm really enjoying Inside. Uh, and then we actually have, if you guys like the game Kitty Powers Matchmaker, it's something fun to just kind of break things up uh, from the more unsettling games that I've been playing. Uh, Kitty Power Matchmakers is actually going up. It went up yesterday. So... Yeah, we've been playing a bunch of fun stuff. So if anything like that sounds fun to you guys, if it sounds like something you'd like to watch, I totally recommend if you went down and check out that channel. I post over there on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I post here on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. I just realized I've been forgetting to say that in my videos. And I also have a Sims 4 poll. I'm getting there. I'm almost done, I promise. Uh, we have a Sims 4 poll. It's linked down in the description as well. When this generation of this, of this challenge ends, we're going to be switching over to Sims 4 challenge, hopefully to keep me from getting bored. Uh, like I'm kind of getting with my Disney Legacy challenge. It's getting kind of repetitive over there. So I'm hoping if I have something to just kind of break things up, uh, it will keep me from getting bored and keep things from getting stale so you guys get to vote on what that new challenge is go vote down below let me know what you think what you want to see and yeah i think that's everything i think <laughs> thank you guys and i'll see you guys all in my next video i guess uh, bye